Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video, playing some Tiberius today, the Weapons Master, a character that I really love the idea of, and I've talked about this quite a few times in other videos, so I'm not going to go on about it too much in this one. Uh, just never really works for me, even though I've tried so many other builds, so many different playstyles, Tiberius always feels a little bit jank, even though apparently he's my third most played damage champion, being level 35, higher than everybody aside from Drogos and Tyra. This list makes no sense, I never really even bother sorting it by this, but what I'm trying to say to finish off and summarise here the intro, we're going to give Tiberius another shot, hopefully today it'll click, I haven't played him since the last video, which was, I think, at least a couple months ago at this point. Onslaught, Snowfall, Genos, Kinesa, Ash, and Koga versus Drogo's another generals, Ram, Azan, and Sky. Grabbed Vicious Assault and then the setup that has the heal on hit because we've got generals for consistent heals. We've also got a heal on the uh, Q. Tiberius movement always is kind of jank with the way the servers are at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if it's somehow massively worse. It didn't feel great there. Shots here into the Ram. It's kind of the best scenario for Tiberius is just to be firing into a tank for free. Sky's just kind of shredding the team here, pull that one through. Tried to buy more life rip. Obviously, I can't roll on Salt. I forget that he hits for like 600. For some reason, I always think it's like 580 or something. And uh, we'll pop the Q and just blast away, sure. Just throw some shots down there, long range. We should get at least a little bit of damage, right? If people just jump into it. I think we're doing all right so far, output-wise. Gonna go for the ultimate, trying to go after the Genos. There's a, yeah, combo on him, maybe? I was expecting him to grip me. He did, it just took a minute. I thought I had one more charge left, apparently not. There's the Q, life it definitely gonna carry versus like a Ram. He shouldn't be able to get us low, especially when we've got Genos heal on us. We'll throw that through. Didn't have anybody pull it back. There we go. Nice, Ganesa going kind of ham. Finally, the team's actually working. Gonna be honest with you, this is a bit of a scuffed one, but I didn't really expect anything different because we're playing Tiberius. There's the Q, damage here on the Ram. He's going for the ulti. Uh, we're fine. Uh, it's a general assault. I'm just jumping into it. What am I doing? Why did the generals ult me as well? Trying to play Tiberius feels like I'm just struggling trying to do the bare minimum. We actually got a bit of a combo there on the Drogos, but if it all comes together, it does feel really good. The Weapons Master tagline, I also love, and it does describe him quite well. I wish he had some other stuff in his kit, though, that actually just worked with what I was trying to do. I mean that in a really nice way, though. Let's get rid of the Azan. There we go. I just really don't like the movement. It just doesn't really work. There's a general's ult. Taps here on the, yeah, Ram. I really can't do much other than find him like that. Our self heal is ridiculous. The reload is completely busted. There's the Q. He's gone. It's a Drogos ult. Can we immune that with the right click? No, actually just needed to try that because for some reason I actually didn't know if it worked. It doesn't. Uh, finish off life rip, finish off an nimble, probably should have armor plating instead. Doesn't matter if I get Drogo's punch though. I feel like as a duelist versus like the sky rip, pretty big advantage just because of our self heal stuff. I'm hitting the shots. We're going to be able to live without too much trouble. We'll throw the right click through, hit both. That's a Drogo's on me. Uh, this is a scenario where I kind of die unless I land my damage, which we kind of did. There's another F. There's a Q as well. Thought they'll come off cooldown a little bit faster than it did, but we managed to actually live there just because the Jones came in to save us. But as long as we're doing this sort of thing, we should be in a really good spot. My damage is just not working though. The servers, I think, are really screwing over Tiberius more than normal. Jump and go for the ultimate. Sure, it's actually still going to carry the damage all this way. Probably not, right? I don't know if it did. I don't think it did. Uh, dodge the sky ult. Nice. We're still fine. I also just somehow caught the gen. I didn't even know he was there. My mouse is broken. My mouse, where's my mouse? It's not on any other monitor. All right, well, that's not going to make any sense in the video, but I had to like tab out and tab back in because for some reason, either I fat fingered something that broke something or our paladins just had a new layer of jank that I've never experienced before. It's probably me messing something up because I clicked a bunch of things and the fight happened a little bit too fast. Gonna jump in, go for like a combo, maybe get somebody by surprise. Hello, Genos. Uh, the slayer's so not going to be enough. I think I'm dead. I probably shouldn't have bothered to draw that back. Can I queue in time and survive this? Oh my god, it's actually going to work. Life rip, kind of carrying. Generals with a heal too. Still dead eventually because of the Drogo's blast, I think. This has been a Paladins match, but like I said already, I think, uh, this is kind of what I expected when I picked Tiberius, to be honest. I didn't think it would be any less strength than this. Go for an F, slam down, get a combo on him, trying to finish him off. When you actually learn the abilities, it kind of works. We managed to get him at least in the end, but man, it's a struggle for me to just play Tiberius sometimes. I was a General Sword. I don't know if that was our one or their one. Um, okay, I guess it was theirs. Shots on the Ram. He's very, very low. Really wish I had my right click, but that's fine. Got rid of the Drogo. Shots hit on the, yeah, Generals, his Jukes. What am I aiming at? What is my aim? That one hit him. The servers are so cooked. I really can't explain it more than I have already. Uh, at least they're working. But man, trying to hit shots, especially with a character like Tiberius or anybody that's got projectiles. Tiberius is, for some reason, a little bit more jank than some others. Uh, just sometimes doesn't work. Obviously, I'm not playing him particularly well, but versus some of the fights here, I feel like I really should have, you know, had these hits. Especially when I managed to get rid of the Azani. That was actually not too bad. If I lock in, can make it work. Sky's here somewhere. Um, yeah, Bounce is also just not really seemingly working properly. Pop the F, jump on the Ram here. There we go. Ton of damage. Nice. When we come together as a team, we actually make it work. Gonna go for the ultimate. Just checked it there, and it definitely doesn't seem like most of the time you're able to carry the damage from uh, the F into the ultimate it used to work like all the time i don't know if that was intended so maybe they just fixed it i don't remember but anyway there we go there is the defeat i think the score was somewhere around 300 to 400 or maybe even less on our side i'm not sure they deserve the win but we played actually quite well damage wise i'll take that i could have done better for sure but um yeah 110k that's fine shout out to the Koga. I must have missed that and also the Knesset, and also the uh Ram, who i think i've also played with already today shout out to everybody just in case i miss anybody there but uh, yeah, overall the team did quite well. I will say Ganesa could have had a little bit more damage for sure. Same with the Ash, especially with a double tank. Don't know why, but at the time, even versus two tanks, people end up with quite low damage numbers, even though it's super free. Like, Ram and Azan, you should have a ton of damage versus those two, even if you're just holding left click genuinely
should end up with a lot, especially as like an Ash, but yeah, sometimes it just doesn't happen, and that's quite often. But for game two, finish it off with a quick little TDM. We've got Abyss, Maeve, Zin, Lex, and Drogos versus another Drogos. For some reason, I'm seeing a ton. Uh, Zin, Serious Khan, and Lian. I think the main way I could summarize why Tiberius doesn't really work for me is he's a very rigid character with the jump, the right click, sort of lockout times and stuff. Uh, Feel wise, isn't particularly smooth unless you're really, really good with timing, which on Tiberius specifically, I'm not. On other characters like Zin or something, it kind of works because you can do other stuff to kind of make it, you know, flow properly, but don't know how to really explain what I mean. But on other characters like Zin, who's kind of similar, what is my aim today? Oh my lord. It kind of can work, but for some reason on Tiberius, even though I do like the weapon, I like the idea of his get, like I said at the start, uh, the actual uh, playing it and putting it all together just feels so cool. Like, the right click throw feels kind of weird, the pull back on it feels kind of weird, the jump, it's not really locking you out when you land or anything, but uh, yeah, the Q's got a tiny little lockout on it, it's not much, but just a few little things that add up to the feel on him being kind of awkward for me. Try to hit the Drogas while I saw behind there, I hit him with one bounce, there we go, nice, actually managed to finish him off, I thought I was going to ruin that. I uh, go for the little jump, get rid of the Serious, that actually kind of worked. When you do get, when you do get the whole combo, especially with like the damage on the weapon being as high as it is, especially with like the Q and the right click, if you do everything correctly, the feel is crazy good. Uh, it's just for me, like there you saw on the Sin. Uh, it just doesn't really work most of the time. Sometimes it does. As a character, even though I played him a ton, level 35 still really surprises me. I just never really feel like I'm playing a character that works with the way I play the game. I feel like I'm constantly fighting his kit in a way that isn't the same for most other characters, weirdly. Yeah, I don't know why it's Tiberius, other than for the reason I said. That's my best guess. If you get what I'm talking about and you feel kind of similar, I'd really love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Or if you have a different reason why Tiberius doesn't work for you, or why he does specifically, yeah, I really would love to hear from you. Because I've talked about it kind of in other videos, but specifically with this one, it's kind of a bit of a focus. I don't know why the Khan jumped off the map there, but let's get rid of the Leanne. Nice. Don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm expecting the Khan to maybe grab me or something. Yeah, I guess I can try and jump back on. <laughs> I completely butchered it. Oh, man. Man, that was bad. Been so many bad plays in videos recently. Not like necessarily ones that would ruin games or anything, just like sort of embarrassing plays where I had a good idea that just didn't really work. We shredded through the Zin. I don't know where Leanne went. I guess she's just there. Feels like there's a lot of new people in this one. I just tanked that for no reason. I'm spamming the F, but also the right click. That kind of showed you what I mean with a lockout. The F lockout plus the right click lockout kind of cooks me. I'm not going to grab that because I've got 97%. Game is kind of over already pretty quick. I don't know what their Ceres is doing. She must be very, very new because I don't see her healing like anybody. Right clicks or main hits, I mean, just not doing any damage there for some reason. I'm going to just spin around a little bit, uh, buy some time, be kind of annoying. I'm dead. I was a Lexor, but I didn't even think about it until just then where it happened. But the lockout on the ultimate too is why I specifically, even if I'm going with like a full ultimate setup, end up not really using it particularly well because there's lockout on the ult. Even if you go for the left click, there's like, you can't just chain it together. There's a little bit of time between the charges and the right click specifically. The lockout is kind of crazy. I get why it's there in his kit, but... Feel wise, I think that's why it kind of ruins it for me. 17-3, 40k, we actually kind of shredded there in that one, but it's a bit of a free game, to be honest. Nothing else to really add on top of that one, but the Drogos are playing quite well. I've seen a lot of Drogos recently. And yeah, that is where I'm going to leave it. I wouldn't say I dislike Tiberius. I would say I'm pretty much a neutral on him. I do really want to like him, especially with the sort of way he looks and the way his kit should work. But because of how it's implemented and like the sort of little stops he has, I never really end up actually having full synergy or like flow with Tiberius or anything. Just always feel like I'm fighting him. The point of what I'm trying to say here at the end, though, is if they did tweak him and, you know, move him slightly closer to some other characters I would call really, really high on, like, my favourites list, he would be pretty much up there with them, I think, with just a few little things moved around. Kind of similar to Charlene for me, where he was a character I used to love because he really used to flow together, especially when you could, like, knock people into walls, even though it was jank and, you know, some of the stuff really didn't work with him very well. Even now, he has a lot of that jank still. But they pushed him closer to Tiberius, just feel-wise for me, not actually, like, balance-wise or really in a way that I can probably describe. Um, I would put them kind of together, and I feel like they could both be really, really high on my tier list if they were just slightly tweaked. Did that make sense? I feel like if you don't watch a ton of my stuff and hear me yap about things, that won't make any sense whatsoever. But if you're at the end of the video, I suppose you do. I appreciate it standing all the way till the end. Thank you so much for watching, of course. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.